Right, Megan, a long day, but we got there in the end. The 68 bogey free, how happy are you with that? Yeah, I'm pleased. Um, just pleased we got finished, to be honest. It's a little dark now. Um, but yeah, bogey free is, is always a good thing. So um, not quite as, there wasn't quite as much good stuff as yesterday, but I um, yeah kept the mistakes off the card. So it's not a bad day. Obviously, you made a really hot start, birdie, birdie. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, the first the first was a big bonus because I hit four iron in there. Um, like, I think everybody knows first is quite a difficult hole, so you're happy if you make a par. So, yeah, just two really good shots and hold hold a nice one. So it's kind of, it's good because it sets the tone for the day, I think, and means you're not kind of behind the eight ball right from, from the beginning. Um, and then, yeah, didn't play the second great, but made a good up and down. Um, so, yeah, it's just nice position to put myself in. Yeah, obviously two off lead now going into the final day. You're surrounded by players who are actually chasing their maiden LET win. You come into that with three wins to under your belt. How are you going to use that experience tomorrow and what have you learned from those wins? Yeah, I think that's um, that's a massive thing. Um, but obviously everybody, you know, everybody who wins has to get their first win at some point. Um, and I think just for me, I know how final round, rounds can pan out, when, especially when you're in the last group. You know, it can be hard to get momentum sometimes. But then again... I was in a similar position last year and myself and Innes both played really, really well. So it's just, you know, different things can happen. Um, but I think the main thing is just knowing that you've got to be patient. And even if it's not going great at the beginning, you know, there's still still lots of time. So looking forward to it. Best of luck. Well played. Thanks, George.